Is that what he's saying? Do you speak Icelandic or is it a different word? But we'll go with that. Like if you're from Finland, you speak Finnish. Sure. Then Icelandish. You speak... Icicle. Well, it's a remake of an Icelandic movie uh, that came out last year. And I'd, I'd read about it. Uh, it had won a few f uh, festivals, notably the, the Torino Film Festival in Italy, which is a festival that I was a fan of and have been to a few times. And so I'd heard of the movie, and then when I was looking to do something that was like an intimate two-person character piece set in, you know, uh, a burnt-down state park, uh, I was talking to a buddy of mine who's an art director in New York, and he said, well, you got to check out Either Way. And I said, oh, yeah, I do have to check out Either Way. And then he said, well, he said, you should just remake that movie. And I was like, okay, I'll just get a copy of it, and I'll go remake it. So that's kind of what I did. I've known David for many years and uh, have been a friend of his, and I've always admired him as a filmmaker and, and wanted to work with him. So it was great to finally do it, and it, uh, I hope it's the, the first time of... Uh, many times because I think he's just a great filmmaker. Emil I'd never met and uh, it was it was terrific you know that we have these this dynamic that in the in the film our characters which is a bit of an older brother younger brother thing and it felt like that when we weren't shooting too. I think uh, you know Lance is kind of he's kind of like a, a, a dopey insecure kind of um, guy who's a little bit you know, he's kind of been partying for most of his 20s, and he hasn't really taken the time to develop himself as an adult, and this is kind of the crossroads in the movie where we find him. He's realizing that, you know, a lot of the the ways of living aren't working out for him, you know, right now, and he kind of has to shift his paradigm a little bit and grow up. Uh, and Alvin, who Paul Rudd plays, you know, is kind of a very adult, stern guy who has his own flaws, but I think he kind of helps illuminate to Lance some of the problems that Lance has. They kind of they kind of change each other. We're kind of the odd couple. Well, working with Paul and Emil something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, me and Emil almost made a movie together a few years ago, so I'd had in mind, and me and Paul have known each other for 10 years, so you know we've been always talking about this or that and trying to figure out when and where. And this just seemed, this seemed like a, a good fit. You know, they kind of fit the, the structure and the character dynamic that we wanted to. I wanted to find characters that felt kind of familiar and relatable, but also we could take them outside their wheelhouse and push them in a direction that audiences wouldn't necessarily expect. So I think you'll feel, you know, see a, see a few surprises with the movie and where they go. And the character dynamic was really fun off camera as well as it was on. And it's just, you know, it was 16 days we shot the movie and just had a blast. Cousin Pete, Uncle Al, and Jack heatedly discuss Superman's new beard and who else could have donned the cape. The Oscars may be Hollywood's biggest party, but every year someone gets left out. Gray Drake gives you 10 films that deserved better. Fandango's Dave Carger drops by as Ben makes his Oscar predictions and dishes on Jay-Z's composing for The Great Gatsby. Amy Nicholson and Jeremy Smith join Devin to round up who was a badass and who was just an ass in 2012. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.